Welcome to my kitchen. I am John Harkless and I'm going to be making pie crumbs. Now in a previous video I made sweet potato pie with a focus on making the pie crust. The filling is pretty standard and there's plenty of recipes all over the internet for how to do that. The weakness I discovered when I learned how to make pie crusts was that I had to do it for a whole pie at a time. Either a complete bottom crust or one for the bottom and one for the top. The problem with that is sometimes you don't need uh, all that much. And so the solution was something I found in an article that I'll link in the comments about making pie crumbs. Same basic premise except we do everything dry. And then when the time comes we can scoop out as much as we need to make however much pie crust we need for that particular moment. Now in order to do this Standard ingredients, really. Uh, we've got flour, so I'll take some of that out. Uh, we're going to need butter, and we'll need some salt. Uh, any salt will do. This one in the grinder just happens to be handy. So I'm going to go back here. Now you want your refrigerator cold butter. And the other thing I want to show you is the actual pie crumbs themselves. So I've got a gallon bag sitting here in the freezer with a pretty good amount of starter material to make crusts from. When I finish doing all of that over here, what you'll see is that I've got a solid amount of uh, pie crumbs ready to go and it'll save me the trouble of making the dough, wrapping it up, letting it sit in the refrigerator to make sure it stays cold. I can go uh, pretty much straight from the freezer to making dough and it just makes everything a lot easier. So I'm going to go over here to the other camera and actually start doing the work. Now before we get started on that, we do need to make sure that we've got the um, scooper to measure things out. I'm going to need my hand blender to incorporate the butter and the flour together. And I'm just going to use a fork to get in between those things and make sure I scoop it all out. It's relatively easy. So. Let's start with adding the flour. I'll do it uh, in three segments. And the good news is you don't have to be really precise. So one, two thirds, and three thirds gives me a cup. So my scooper and my flour uh, can go to the side, and now, uh, imprecise, but a little bit of salt, not a lot. So the salt's in, and now I just add the butter. I'm going to take the entire stick, fresh out of the refrigerator, and just drop it directly in. Rest my fork on that. And now all I have to do is just uh, run the hand blender through. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is pretty much done. Uh, everything is at a reasonable consistency. And what we want to do now is just transfer it to the bag. So, I've got these pie crumbs and essentially what I would do is I can scoop out a full cup of it if I'm making uh, enough crust for a single pie. If I'm doing something like individual pot pies or something smaller, I can scoop out a smaller amount. But all I have to do is take this, add some ice cold water, form the dough, and roll it out. Instead of doing this step of mixing everything together and then adding the water, making the dough, folding it into a nice tight disc, wrapping it up, putting it in the refrigerator to set for a while, then taking it back out and finally rolling it out. By doing the advance work, it makes making pies a lot easier and a bit more efficient. So I'm going to fill this up, push uh, as much of the air out as possible, and put it back in the freezer for later.